Thanks for stopping by. I came across this book on the on the free choice of the will by uh, St. Augustine. I bought this last year at uh, at the library. Um, it's instead of returning. I mean, Augustine was responsible for the doctrines of original sin and infant baptism. Original sin is um. Babies are born sinning um, without their knowledge. I'm not going to get into it so much right now. But basically, it's a Calvinist doctrine that they pick up. Um, instead, okay, this is instead of returning to the great systems of cath classic Greek thought, Platonism, Aristotleism, Satasism. Augustine associated himself with one of the most vigorous opponents of Catholicism in North a Africa, in the sect of Maine. This sect often regarded as a Christian heresy, but having doctrine and ethic roots of its own, was founded by the Babylonian Maya, Mani, in the mid third century A.D. Little need to be said about the life of Mani. Since we are concerned here only with the central doctrine and its relations to the development of Augustine's thought, suffice it to say that he preached successful for a number of years, converting considerably numbers to his doctrines and mission. He was said to have received several special divine revelations and visitations, one of which disclosed to him that he was the Holy Ghost. Let me repeat that again for you. He was said to have received several special divine revelations and visitation, one of which disclosed to him that he was the Holy Ghost. This is Augustine, guys. Um, and it's definitely a cult than that, I thought. Um... Contention here, found here, is essentially a Christian version I proposed by the inherent of Neoplatism. For the works of Neoplatus formed the intellectual bridge between Augustine the Pagan of 384 and Augustine the Christian of 387. So, um, right there, Pagan thought getting into the Christian thought world. The works speaks louder than words. It's clear his words right here. Pagan thought in Trinitarian doctrine. The works of Plotus, Plotus and his followers, which Augustine studied obsidiously in Latin translation, fed him of the, his doubts as to the conceivable of non material substance. They suggest a method of thoroughgoing self-examination of introspection as the key to philosophic inquiry. Through them, he discovered the use of the eye of the mind. Eye of the mind. Now, if you look, get your dollar bill, turn it back, there's an eye on there. I believe that has cultic implications, if I'm not mistaken. The study of one's own inner experience as a pathway to objective truth, a method which he never abandoned and which provided him with a means of escape from skepticism. They made clear to him that the problem of evil could be solved without having to recognize the existence of a positive diabolical principle co-eternal with God. I believe Augustine wrote, yeah, it sounds like the Trinity. Um, he, he also wrote something on the Trinity of co eternal Son. Um, the the Neoplato turned to, to main dualism is this evil is not a substance as a means to clear, it is not a positive reality in its own right, but rather a pivotation of reality. A defect in substance, all things are good, in so 
far as they exist to be is to be good um, having said a catholicism I mean Augustine started questioning his faith he gave he had a bunch of questions made up and they couldn't answer them so he said and then he having said it Catholicism aside and found no satisfactory satisfaction in religion may I he came to wonder whether there was any truth available for human knowledge abandoning his former views he embraced the doctrine of the third academy the sept skeptical successor played to the school at anthems anthems his founder and chief proponent was Cardinius, who proposed a thoroughgoing and symptomatic skepticism certain knowledge is not available to men all things are subject to doubt hence the wise man gives assent to nothing at all since if he should do so he would invariably fall into error which of course is precisely what the wise man seeks to avoid in light of the of this wholesale confession of arrogance the wise man must cling only to proverbs or truth like statements which while not affirmed to be true serve as guiding principles for the living um there you have it um he belonged he used to belong to the cult of man it said he had divine revelations he said he was the holy ghost he, he was heavy into with Plato thought, which it carried over right to his Christian back, right to his Christian beliefs. He never really abandoning it at all, really. Um, and this is what doctrines of original sin came from, the Trinity. Um, this is all, all concocted stuff by the devil himself you know i mean what better way to create a false religion amen god bless